Hey guys, so I'm Tamina, an intimacy and expression coach. And I'm Michael, philosopher and writer. And we're really excited to be here in the neighborhood because we have started to realize in our various years of travel that there is a major social lack, especially for our generation. Absolutely. Everywhere we've been, we were searching for those people that we could connect with and bond with and socialize with. And the search continues. So I used to live in LA. I was traveling, touring with Lady Gaga, working on many stages. And I found my way back home to Toronto, where I found a dance called Zook, where I eventually met my now husband, Michael. And I, uh, I came to Toronto to study mechanical engineering, where I found Zook and practiced that in and danced that in, in community for a while until finally meeting Tamina. And then we adventured around going across the, I guess we'd say across the nation to California in our van. I think we were really looking for community in that search, like going from city to city, um, really searching for like those hubs where people gather, where they share their gifts, where they have fun. Um, we didn't quite find too many of those. There was a few. There's a few places and we ended up landing in LA for quite a while and continued our search there. And there, we had some promise, but you know, it didn't end up landing in that sweet spot that we were looking for. Like we are part of a really nourishing group. So we came back. And then we eventually moved to an off grid cabin that we built and it was really amazing getting in touch with nature, learning survival skills, learning to grow our own food. Um, I feel like that was an integral, an integral part of our development as humans and also relationally being able to be out in the wild, like as a unit. But eventually there was a deeper calling for us of like, we, what we're looking for isn't quite found in isolation either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as much as it was beautiful to be out in nature in the quiet and solitude and the just peace of the woods, we needed to be around people. We, we wanted to be around a community. So we came out. We came out again to look for those people. And eventually we found ourselves here in Port Hope, Coburg area. And it's a beautiful a beautiful landscape, like we were really drawn by the heritage homes and the beautiful lake views and also the promise of like, there's a lot of budding new businesses that are establishing themselves here now. And yet what we found is there's something missing. What's missing is that place to gather, that place to be together, that place to encounter each other and connect, a place to, to have fun and to bond when you don't want to be drinking. That's really amazing. Mm. That's that's what makes a thriving social scene is that you're surrounded by people who inspire you to become a better person, to become more of yourself, to go out there, do that dream, to go out there and like choose what actually lights your soul on fire not just to continuously just exist in, in the, the pond of where we are. You know, we wanna, we wanna build greater streams and rivers that connect, that connect us to ourselves and each other. And so I feel that that's a missing quality of socializing that has been lost, is that we've kind of downgraded socializing to a way of like passing time together. You know, kind of like existing together when it's like, you know what, actually we can come together and become greater. We can come together and smile longer, brighter. We can come together and like build something better together, build something incredible together. And so it's about like, okay, how are we spending our, our time together? You know, and can we spend that wisely? Mm -hmm. Can we laugh and grow? Okay, okay. What would you say? <sighs> I 
I would say that I want a place to go hang out and, and mix. I want a place to I want a place to be filled up by something interesting. I want to have fun. I want it to be a playful space. I want to go there for fun, primarily, and then come home with come home with like uplifting, good feels. I want to go somewhere that lightens the load of life, makes all the work of life worth it. Place where I'm like, I'm willing to do all the work stuff because you know I get to come here. I get to come here and I get to be with these people and I get to enjoy, enjoy good company and enjoy nourishing social bonds and I get to drop in to presence in a way that I forget to when I'm working. Mm -hmm. place to be real where I realize why I'm here yeah somewhere where I can I can leave life struggles at the door and and I can put on a new hat you know the kind where I, I don't have to be burdened and I can just be fun and maybe it inspires me to work on things that I think are fun Ask me the question. What are you looking for in a social scene? Hmm. In the social scene, I am looking. Hmm, I'm looking for good food. Good food and the flavor of enrichment that I receive from connection. I'm looking for great conversations. I'm looking for that. It's like. The, that energetic exchange beyond what you say, just like when you're with somebody and you're exchanging with one another in a way that excites you. you know, it's actually like the truth of feeling connected with somebody, not like, oh, I'm connected because I'm standing beside somebody and we're talking about something and we're both nodding, but like that connection where you're like, yes, like your entire body is like, Ooh, like, like aroused by that connection. And like, you're both like inside of that, like arousal together. Um, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. I'm looking to be aroused by connection and, um, I feel like that arousal has been like dimmed or like, like, yeah, like really shut down in the realms of connecting with other people because it's been seen as like taboo. Like, no, you're not supposed to be aroused with your friends or with your community members. You're only supposed to be aroused in the bedroom with like that one person that you call your lover. And what I've noticed is that that lack of like arousal in like social life has, has actually like zapped the meaning out of socializing because you actually don't receive anything from being together. You know, your bodies aren't 
enlivened and like saying yes and like excited by being together um, because we're ashamed of like that kind of excitement from connection. So that's honestly totally what I'm looking for in my social life is to be aroused and excited and by the fruits of being connected with others. And that can be some of the hardest things, especially when we look at what types of pastimes that are available. It's like, what do we do? Okay, we go to a movie or we just like go out to eat or we just go drinking. It's like, these aren't moments where you're like really with someone like eye to eye, like body to body, like like exchanging your heart and your creativity and like it's just like something about the um the venues we have to gather and like the activities that we spend together don't arouse that kind of upliftment in the time we spend together and even the saddest thing too is like there's times when we're like side by side but we just don't actually know how to get to that like level of connection and I feel like that has really inspired us in our journey in searching for social circles. Is like, how can we create more spaces for us to enjoy arousal and connection and inspiration through being together and through building deeper qualities, of bonds that carry us through life um, in a way that we get to be happy and so as we moved here to the area of Port Hope, we decided that we want to start to create that culture of building community bonds that inspire our lives. And so we're really excited to be bringing this forward here, creating a space for us to be able to enjoy quality bonds with community Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're looking for something that stirs something in us. And it's not enough to just have that at home sometimes and to never have that outside of your home. You know, to not be able to have that out in town, out in, out in your community. So we want that richness to be present in community. So you want to know from you, what are you looking for in your social life? What would you want more of? And do you have any questions about building connection or, yeah, like what do you want to experience more of in your social connections and what are some of the challenges that you face? We want to answer those questions and start to build a culture together of like genuine enriching community connections it goes far beyond just going out and drinking like there's so many other things that we want to do we've heard from a lot of people that we've met in the area already is that we're looking for places that don't rely on alcohol we're looking for places that also support couples too and like cultivating intimacy and closeness in relationships because when we have a strong relationship with our lovers it's like our family unit also really thrives too it's like we need support we need support with our friends like building friendships and intimate relationships because that really helps the family unit mm -hmm. strong relationships generate a great life a, a life worth living all of your relationships have the potential to be that nourishing space that makes life better and we want to build more and more of those bonds and we want to expand the bonding space beyond the home and we want to make life that much richer So if you're going to be in Toronto, Coburg, or Port Hope, we truly hope that you will join us in one of our in-person events that we'll be hosting really soon. 
and don't forget to drop your comments below just share them with us like what do you want more of in your social life and what are some questions that you have for us about building deeper richer connections looking forward to reading your comments and answering those questions soon